My dear viewers, welcome to this Coffee Cup reading. This Coffee Cup reading is for all Taurus and it's for February 2023. I hope you will enjoy it. It's a general reading about everything. Um, also remember, my dear viewers, um, that I do, for those of you who are new to the channel, I do meditate prior to the Coffee Cup and write down a lot of information that comes through and I'll write it down on a piece of paper and I give it to you right at the end of this reading. Please stay tuned. Now, my dear um, viewers, welcome. Welcome, my dear, beautiful viewers. Now, for those of you who are Taurus and for those of you who are cross watchers, what I'm seeing here that you need to be a little bit flexible now. It's needed. It's a must. It's like the universe saying, open your mind. There are a lot of changes that you need to get adapted to. Adaptation is everything now. Um, you will work well. You do work well with others, but you need to manage your timing. You need to manage your life and balance everything. You need to have control over your own life now. It's that time. They're saying a little bit of patience uh, and, and you'll see there isn't that much time left that you will be um, seeing results. Strange results are going to take place in your life. Now it's the time for you to take time out. There'll come a time very soon within February or the end of February where you will need to take time out to withdraw and to really think, build your life, build your strength, build your strength for your life. Your life is changing. I see that there might be a distraction. There might be a time needed for you to take time out and really think about your life. I feel like this challenge that you were waiting for, there is one challenge. Some of you have passed it. Some of you are still going through it. It's an emotional one. It could be a physical one for some of you. It could be both. Uh, but it is a, a sort of like a setback in your life, which you need to really resolve. I feel like there might not be easy answers, but there is a resolution. That's why you need to be strong and use your strength and adapt. Heavenly signs are everywhere showing you a lot of things that are coming about because your life is changing. It's changing due to an ending, a very severe ending. Severe ending meaning what? I mean someone is either moving, leaving, or departing, or passing. Uh, it could be either one, but there is a disruption while this ending happens. There could be a little bit of conflict even when this uh, matter happens. No matter how powerful you are, you will find that this is going to be um, sort of like a breaking point, but you will pass it. This ending is not going to be easy. It's going to be a hard one, but I feel like you are going to start fresh. You are having a rebirth, a re uh, a new life, a renewal of life. You are growing. You are really going through a lot of self-examination because you're going through an end of an era, an era of your life, a chapter, a big and old chapter, something that you've had for such a long time, something is ending, is leaving. And you are putting the past behind you and moving forward. I've got goosebumps and chills as I'm saying this. Um, fear of the unknown, of change is going to be frightening a little bit. But remember, you are in control. You might feel out of control, but you will be in control. It's, you've got to remember and focus on the most important factors of life. And then everything will be simplified. Remember, adapt and let go. Let go. Don't let tears, don't let sadness overwhelm you. Let go. You will have success. Time will heal you. And time is going to be in progress to take you to an amazing life. You're moving on to a wonderful life. I feel that like you're never going to be alone. And there is someone wonderful there cuddling you, cuddling you, around you, protecting you, healing with you. I feel like um, as though the keepers of this world, as though the gods, the universe, they're all around you, ancient ancestors standing beside you. As you grieve, they stand beside you. They are praying with you. As you are praying, they are standing with you. Spirits, angels, gods are all with you and they have a plan to transcend you from where you are. You are changing. So much of your life is changing. Even your body is changing. Your way of looking is changing. The way you dress is changing. Your hairstyle, your body, your, your structure is changing. You are changing it. You are going through a transformation, but cautiousness is needed. You need to act with tact and you need to do things in order to accomplish what you want. But you've got to be cautious in your actions. Now, I do see a period of freedom where you are where you are feeling that you can climb mountains, you can do anything it's spontaneous. You feel like there's a part of you, you feel like, a, um, like you're in love or you're a dreamer or that you can 
you know, that you can climb mountains. There are no restrictions anymore. You feel a sense of freedom that you have never felt in your life. My God in heaven, this is unbelievable. This is so strong. This is going to change who you are and what you stand for and what you were used to. That way of life is gone. Now you've got a life that you are the master of. You are the master of your domain. I feel like the angels have given something amazing in this destiny that is opening for you now. It's like the birth of a new age and the birth of a new you. You're dreaming, your wishes are possible, you're dreaming the world that you want, planning for the world that you want, and nobody can stop you. You are in power now. I feel like there's um, a, a karmic situation that might have taken a big a portion of your life has come to an absolute end and I see a doorway open with a light coming through all your problems all your thoughts all your wishes uh, sorry all your stress are being resolved all your complications that were there they're all being resolved and if there were any if there are any court cases or lawsuits they're all going to be in your favor there is forgiveness there is forgiveness from hurt um, there is, it's like you're changing your life. It's like a new life. For some of you, it could be a new career starting fresh. I feel like something new is coming and it's going to magnify your life and give you the greatest turnaround that you are going to be so happy. So many rewards are coming, spectacular rewards. Um, and everything is guided. Your guidance is all guided divinely. So the universe and your angels are guiding you. Now there's money coming in also. Small amounts of money here and there, but they're becoming available for you to use wisely. Now you will meet someone, someone who possesses great leadership, someone very powerful. This person, they've got qualities that will inspire you. Someone that will help you create change um, in your life and in both of your lives. This is a person that has a lot of qualities, the qualities that are already within you. So you will start feeling very strong for this person this person is going to be also empowering you they have got the leadership ability to to do a lot your dreams are going to be realized with this person i feel like you're assuming control of a situation and you are taking position of responsibility protection and defending those around you i feel this person is also going to inspire you to the point where you're opening your heart you're welcoming love you could be meeting the one this is could be the one the more you're getting to know each other, the more you're opening your heart and the more it's looking that it's moving forward. It's time for success, it shows here. It's time for you to acknowledge your efforts and you, you know that you deserve. Keep moving forward. That's what they're saying. Keep moving forward and you'll see that you are going to be moving forward. I, I feel like there's inspiration. I feel like your dreams are coming true. Your fu future dreams, what you wished for, are coming true. You are going to be in contact with someone who will dramatically change your life. This person is changing you, changing the way you look at things. I feel like there's serenity, there's peace, and there is strong love between two people. Very strong love. You're going to enjoy a very calm period of your life. Emotional needs are fulfilled. You're sharing good fortune. And I feel like one spectacular wish or dream is going to be granted for you. You are nurtured and you are going to be attracted to someone. There's attraction. There's a chance you're getting attracted to someone. I see there's attraction. There's enjoyment. There's attraction. It's saying it's okay to go ahead and feel what you're feeling. Don't feel guilty. Um, if there are romantic, uh, situations happening playfulness fun uh you know if they're making you shine and making you feel great then that's okay enjoy it but do pay attention to the red flags there will be one or two caution two things signs cautioning you uh, listen to your higher self like listen to your intuition and what it's saying it's trying to tell you something so try to listen to it because i feel like you need to be very calm and listen to the outcome. There's some outcome, some answers that you need. They're inside you, those answers. And I feel like you will have access to them in, the, in due time. Now, you need to guard against any kind of um, suspicion. Although it says here that caution is needed, but you need to also be aware that there is a mysterious event or situation. Someone mysterious could be entering your life at the same time. For some of you, I'm seeing a beautiful engagement ring. This shows to me um, partnerships, commitment, eternity. Uh, some of you are thinking of marriage or a bond or living with someone or a union of some sort. I feel like that you do have 
emotional choices they might be between like you might you might be thinking, should I or shouldn't I? Or can I find somebody better? It's like that. It's like a questioning. Or maybe you're torn between two lovers. Or it could be a torn between two situations. Should I do this or not? I do see that you're wishing for something to take place. But it is a little bit risky. So you have to take your time and not rush. That's what my advice is. Possibly take your time. And um, there will be heavenly signs showing you. Open your eyes to the heavenly signs. Um, wishing for something to happen doesn't necessarily make it happen. So, um, it is important that sometimes you could, you could be going through clouded judgment. Things are not as they seem. You might be very important to pay attention to this point. You might be misinterpreting reality or wishing for something to happen where it might be a bit risky or might not be the way you think. Very important that you analyze everything well, use your mind, your logic, especially if for those of you who are falling in love, you've got to be very careful. Get grounded. You are an empath. You have the power to feel. You're very sensitive. Connect with nature. Connect with your heart and see what your gut feeling is telling you, your intuition. There is a new beginning. Anything is possible. You're feeling it as though anything is possible. You can do anything. Um, there is a new project that is going to do well, a new situation, a new someone. Um, I feel like there is going to be uh, a lot of energy and a, lo a lot of enthusiasm. Good times are coming. Good times for family. Good times for um, planning anything. It's going to be a very fertile time for you. It's a wonderful time for family and getting together. But in regard to love, in regard to relationships, I do see a love, but it has got a thorn on the side of it. So you've got to be very careful. Again, caution. Now, what I'm seeing here is two water bearers, which are Aquarius. There's Aquarius sign, very strong here, double Aquarius, two water bearers. I see one Virgo here, one earth energy Virgo, and I see two rams, two Aries. So that shows this person could have this combination in them, and there is Scorpio, water energy there also. This is a very strange combination. It's fire, air, a little bit of earth and water. So this person is combined with a lot of, um, a lot of, signs in them but the fact that they got fire in the air that makes them very warm very romantic loyal to some degree Aries is very loyal so there's two rams there and um and um the Scorpio uh, the Scorpio is very loyal also so you've got two loyalty and Virgo they're loyal so um loyalty is there very strong depth is there this person loves traveling this person likes um you know, they, lo they love their home life and they love also the outdoors. They're very much into action, adventure, analysis, analyzing things. And um, I do see very, very strong here. There's two Chinese year of the buffalo, Chinese year of the ox, very strong here. Then we've got the Chinese year of the monkey. And then I'm seeing the Chinese year of the dragon for some of you. So this person could be having or um, either... Uh, Either all those signs or some of the signs I talked about, the combination, um, and then the Chinese could be either you or them. The Chinese year of the snake is here, the dragon, the goat, and also the dog, Chinese year of the dog. So some of you could be meeting this person um, uh, and really uniting with this person. But there is that caution. You need to be cautious when you are moving um, in, in regard to the situation. I feel like some of you could need caution and some of you are. Um, embracing this love and it's reaching to a level of um, long-term happiness marriage and everything I've got two beautiful rabbits here um, cuddling loving each other I don't know if you can see this there's a rabbit right there and one right there I should bring it closer maybe you'll see this they're cuddling so beautifully there it is there there's a rabbit here and there's another one they're just snuggling together how amazing in the year of the rabbit <laughs> for that to show. So it does show in this year you will be hugging and snuggling somebody and you are going to be feeling romantically um, embracing someone and feeling wonderful. So some of you are getting engaged. The engagement ring was there. There is a union also. Okay, now what I'm going to do is read out to you everything that's been said and the messages that are here. It shows to me that there is a ferry or a boat. That means you are going to get... The actual ferry and boat that I was given means that you are going to get exactly what you need, not what you want, but what you need. This is so important that you pay attention to this. Not what you want, but what you need, you are getting very soon.
Something is happening uh, in regard to perhaps ferry also is a trip, a short distant trip. Uh, sometimes ferry is a journey of an ending. Sometimes in, in the old cultures, they say the ferry is an ending of a journey uh, or a passing of someone. It could be that either. Also, sorry, not either. Um, then I've got June, somebody born in June or um, which um, usually people are born in June are Cancerians or um, Gemini's. June could be also a time where you might be setting some plans to do in June. Something will be starting in June or could be a planning trip because we've got the ferry, the boat and June. There could be a trip planned for June. That's a possibility. And it could be a June wedding for some of you who are getting engaged. Now, there is sadness of a loss. This loss is going to give you a lot of sadness. That's why they were saying at the beginning of your cup, um, you need a lot of adaptation and being strong to adapt to the new life. Some of you could be losing um, someone that you've been with so a long time. There is help coming your way. You are supported and there is help. That's number one. Expand now. There is going to be a key. There's going to be something that lets you know how to expand. You can expand now. You can move forward. There's a clue and there is a key. A key means either a new home or a new place or a new way of doing something or a new business or a new investment, of course. Uh, but there is also a key means a solution. So it's time to take action now and expand now. You are going to go through a period of peace, absolute serenity and peace. Something about November or somebody born in November, that could be too. Um, November born are Sagittarians and Scorpios. Uh, will return. Someone is going to return. Something will return. Okay. It says um, there will be one wish granted. They're not saying one wish. They're saying wish granted. A wish will be granted. Take action now. Again, it was expand now and take action now. So whatever you're thinking, whatever you're planning, it is imperative that you take action now. Something about ego. Ego matters. You know, somebody that well, you might be dealing with someone that's a bit egotistical. So there is an ego situation here. Um, somebody wants you to be the one or you want someone to be the one. So that is there. Wants you to be the one. Or somebody might want you to do that particular job for them. Or you are the one for this. Or you are the one for, for them. So somebody wants you to be the one for something. Now, the letters, the names, uh, and the initials of the people that are called out here. We have M for Mexico. Now, these letters could be the names of the person that we're talking about that's coming in your life. could be yourself. It could be a situation that you're dealing in. It's all about February. And um, the initials and the names. Um, M for Mexico or Morocco, D for Delta or Denmark or Dog, O for Olympics or um, ol Olive, and then P for Pony or for Peanut Butter. Now, we have two numbers. I was given number four twice. Number four means the Chinese year of the rabbit. Isn't it amazing when I was showing you here two rabbits snuggled up in your cup? There's the one. Okay, let me just put there. We, that's the rabbit with the heads, the head and the ears. And there's another one hugging it. They're snuggled up together. I'll just bring it closer for those of you to see. That is absolutely gorgeous. Um, okay, so um, the rabbits here show to me that um, number four was given to me twice. And number four is the Chinese year of the rabbit. So it could be this year, You could a lot of things could be happening for you. Number one with the rabbit, it's about quick success. So quick success, a lot of money is coming in. And there could be success in your work, in your career, in your business, and there could be success in your relationships. So um, quick success. You might be dealing with somebody born in the Chinese year of the rabbit or cat. They call it some rabbit or cat. Um, you could be dealing with someone born in April. April could be Aries. Remember, we had two rams, so that could be two rams. This is this could be it. Or Taurus also is possible, but we had the rams in here in your cup, two of them, two Aries. You could be dealing with that. With that. Um, number four is also connected to quick success, um, connected to people that are born on the fourth of the month, or it could be um, four days or up to four months. From the time you see this cup onwards, quick success will be coming your way nonstop. Now, the final number here, we have 
Number two, and number two is all about relationships and abundance that takes place in relationships, all kinds of relationships, romantic ones and otherwise. So much will be happening. Number two is also about abundance. Number two could be connected to the property you're buying. Number two could be connected to the person's uh, month. They're born on the second of the month or they're born in February. Somebody born in February, which are usually Aquarians and Pisceans. Two is also connected to the Chinese year of the ox or buffalo. We had two buffaloes here. Someone is going to impact your life in February and they're born in the Chinese year of the ox or buffalo. They could be your soulmate. Possibly could be your soulmate. It depends what uh, Chinese year you are. So the Chinese year of the buffalo twice. And now we've got number two here. Abundance is going to happen in relationships. Abundance is taking place for you and around you. Two is connected to two months, up to two months from the time you see this coffee cup. Many, many things will take place. Abundance is coming. Uh, money is coming, pouring into your life. Blessings are coming. And also um, relationships will be becoming stronger becoming better becoming more understandable you will becoming more adapted to the relationships uh, becoming closer some of them are expanding leveling up to becoming permanent eternal and you know unions and marriages and engagements are talked about and others there are caution we have to be realistic there is caution and there could be you misinterpreting something and thinking it's possible but when it isn't so you need to be careful with the signs and they are cautioning you that there are red flags. So you've got to be aware and see which one applies to you. And my dear viewers, this was an amazing cup. It shows to me that there is going to be a lot of help coming your way and you are going to have peace and there is going to be a lot of gratitude for the wish that is being granted for you. Remember, there is, they will grant you a wish that is going to be granted, something you always wanted. But the most important factor here is take action. Don't delay Take action. That is more important than anything. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it, my dear viewers. I can't wait to hear your comments. I wish you love and light, abundance, abundance of blessings to each and every one of you. And namaste.